cheating and uh, cheating people. So um, that is more or less uh, the situation uh, already for many months. I know that uh, the money, the money is lost. Also, Helvi Levi, Shlomi Levi, <clears throat> told me already a few months ago that he said to Peter Klitschin that if he wouldn't, wouldn't bring the money, he would, if he wouldn't give the money, the money back to me, he doesn't want, he doesn't want any more, any more, any kind of connection with, uh, with him. So I don't know if this is uh, if this is true or not. What I can what I can just uh, what I can just uh, assume is that uh, that maybe maybe he he really doesn't want uh, any more connection with this person because this person always bring Peter Kretzin always brings trouble and uh, trouble and. Uh, and crockery and uh, and all kinds of different issues and uh, also uh, stealing and uh, uh, conning people and um, I was you know one of my surprises is that through all the years that Heavy Levy Shlomi Levy knew Peter Klitschin which Shlomi Levy Heavy Levy seems to be a wise a wise intelligent person well, it's very strange that he never, 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 never had any suspicious, or maybe he had, but because of, of because of dreaming of potential maybe help in some ways from Peter Klitschin, like he is trying to portray and paint himself to other people. Maybe he put those suspicious things aside and just continued to be friends with him you know maybe he will gain something from that and uh, another person another connection through all this net of connections when Peter Klitschin was here at that time it took me one time to uh, after he, after already the money was sent to him it took me to visit a friend of him in Tel Aviv Yad Eliyahu Havi, Havi and his wife we were there once, I was there once with Peter. But after that, when all this situation broke out, I spoke with Avi. And Avi told me that through the years, through the numerous years that he knew Peter Klitschin, Peter Klitschin, when he was trying to ask Peter Klitschin about something, when he needed help about something, or he was trying to talk, uh, to, 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 verif to, to um, check about some things, that Peter Klitschin always told him different things and different uh, things and promises and and uh, things that he's involved. But eventually, everything that Peter Klitschin said, from all points of view, was just uh, as Avi said: it was all air. It was all bullshit. Also, the David Bessemer and Robert Leroy, uh, uh, Robert also told me that when Peter was here in Israel uh, between the between him and David Bessemer and other people from the from the Dutch delegations that knew Peter they were always sometimes they were making joke about jokes about Peter Klitschin like they was ha they were having fun about laughing in a humor way because they knew this kind of person that he he is a talking air and and involved in all air scum, air, hair con and crookery, which in general way was he was using people like you know David Bessemer told me that once he was in the in the Teddy Stadium, where is the, the Maccabiya with the sports athletes, and then he um, he got a phone call or something like from Peter Klitsin, and Peter told him. Would you like to meet Bibi Netanyahu? And David told him, "Yes, of course, yes. Okay, let me uh, let me make a phone call and to talk with the and to try to talk with the head of the security of 
<coughs> of Benjamin Netanyahu and to see if I can arrange that. And after about 30 minutes, to the words of, uh, to the words of uh, David, after about 30 minutes, um, <coughs> um, David, uh, David got a phone call from Peter Klitschen and he said, Oh, um, I tried, but it is not, uh, but is, it is not, uh, it's, it is not possible now because uh, Benjamin Netanyahu is very, very busy today. So when you think about everything together, you, you, you understand that it was, you know, it was all just, everything is bullshit. And there were other examples like this, like they were, they were walking on the street and like suddenly, uh, Peter Klitschen, oh, this is the car of the, of the minister of that and that and that and that. Oh, this is the, oh, and the, eventually this, this was not the car of the minister, it was the car of someone else. And that's his main, is through people that he knows and people that he is talking like he knows and he tried to make things a bit bigger and also another thing, another thing through the bank. I got telephone calls and I talked with the bank of Peter Klitschin that his account is in Belgium and I spoke there with two people from the bank. One of them sent me a mail, I have it. Uh, she told me that she's, Mr. Danny, I am very, very sorry that you had to deal with such a, with such a con man, with such a crook. And uh, I hope that uh, you will be able to get your money back and things and things and etc and etc and etc. And um, also another woman, another woman called me, which she saw the story through the through the net, through the Facebook, and she called me. Uh, she left me a message on the messenger. Uh, she didn't want so much to um, verify herself, but. Uh, she wrote to me that she is very sorry to hear what he did to me, what he did to us. But then about 10, 11 years ago, she knew this person and with some all kinds of promises and strange ways that he was talking and convincing, she gave him 500 euros. And uh, this money, of course, was gone. Um, also, David Bessemer told me that uh, when they were here in meeting, with uh, some, with some, you know, different people, different businessmen in Israel. Also, Peter Klitschin also approached him and tried to, try to, um, to try to convince him maybe to, to uh, invest some money in a certain business or a certain firm. And of course, David uh, didn't, didn't want, didn't did, didn't do it. Um, one of the things that I'm very, very uh, generally sad about, not sad, but, you know, because nothing, nothing really surprised me anymore uh, from all the decades that I know the, you know, how, the, how people are behaving. And I'm just sorry that the red light didn't lit up, light up uh, as I'm always very careful and very, I'm very shrewd and on my toes. And here I, it was one of the big uh, mistakes that I, that I felt, that I, that I hit, let's say in a matter way, hit the ground. And I was not too, too much, I was not too care, I was not enough careful. And um, one of the things that also, um, one of the things that, uh, as I said, I'm not surprised, is that, um, uh, how should I say, um, is that um, um, that in the last two months when I left a message to David Bessemer about my situation, my fighting again now against this illness and um, I didn't I didn't get any any response at all. I don't know if this is connected, you know. Many, many people which are which are successful people 
or multi multimillionaire people and they are the head of in many ways in a situations of a, of a top top leading members of Jewish community and they are very 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 uh, rich in uh, in ways like that and like that many people like that you know they they are you know they are coming to Israel they are maybe like to be seen as like they are loving Israel or donating like he came he was like he was also the head of the of the Maccabia uh, of the delegation of the Netherlands Netherlands athletes but when it's when it comes to to try to to help in a, or in a more personal way someone that they know that was done wrong to them and that is a more problematic situation they are avoiding that they are also this kind of people they uh, they will they will never really come here to live here in Israel they have the they have their multi multi millionaire multi 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 millions uh, firms and businesses uh, abroad and uh, in their country and they will uh, but it's good for them to be in a way that like they are loving Israel or supporting Israel from the distance at least it's from the distance and while they can continue to have their magnificent uh, special dreamy life and also Robert Leroy which is not Jewish which his wife is Jewish um, after one time Peter Klitschin shows uh, understood that there is this audio recording about Robert Leroy that is uh, asked about about him and uh, people told in and Robert Leroy left me this recording uh, it was a little mad that I put the recording and then I of course I erased it erased it from the media but not from my private collection and um, I don't know, maybe suddenly, suddenly Robert Leroy, which he was, he always used to say, we can, you are a good friend, if, if you come here, I can help or I can be in good connection with you. Suddenly, he didn't want any more to do with all this story. Uh, maybe he got, he got uh, threatened messages from Peter Klitsin and he didn't want in some way or in some ways like this or like this that it will affect his uh, his singing works his singing jobs in different bars and restaurants and etc etc so this is just in in general and in short as I could the Peter Klitschen connections and this I'm doing it because I want the world to know and as much people to know about what this person is regularly and a study way doing to people that he may know them in the beginning as friends and after that he looks upon them as potential victims for his own benefits. Bye-bye. Peace.